we're going to block and stiffen this doily. I have uh, spent several evenings crocheting it and it should be stunning. I'm, it, this is what it looks like now and I'm eager to see what it looks like when we get it all stiffened. So should we go ahead and start with our blocking of it? We have some stick pins. That's what I use. And I used to use these for quilting, but um, I don't quilt anymore. So I use these for blocking my snowflakes and my doilies. And after a while, they do get a buildup of glue on them. And that's very easy to get off. You just take and rub sandpaper on them and that will re remove the buildup of glue. To block this, we're going to find our center, and that's pretty easy because it's the starting ring. And on my board, I have the center of all these rings and spokes going out. I put a piece of plastic over it because we're going to be using uh, diluted glue and it will stick to the cardboard, so that's not what we want. Now you're going to have to decide which side you want to work from. You can work from the back side, which is the side facing away from you when you're crocheting, or you can work on the front side, which is the side facing you when you're crocheting. I always like to work on the front side. So we'll go ahead and put the center of this in the center of this wheel. And we're gonna go ahead and put some stick pins in it just to help us get this because this this pattern has these spokes going out from it I want to try and line them up on my blocking guide if I can to keep things nice and straight. This is a long process because you have to be careful so that everything is pulled out as equally as you can get it because this early in the blocking process I don't have a ring going around that I can get. I can match up with. So I just have to try and visually make sure everything looks
our blue water made up. Uh, a little more water than glue, I guess, is the right ratio. You just don't want it so thick that it is, uh, I don't know. You just want it so it's going to hold the fabrics or the threads in place. And then you just start painting it on, making sure everything is covered really good. Because what you're actually doing is gluing your, your crochet string in place. So when it dries, it dries, it's not going to move. Okay, so you get it done. You have it someplace and you've enjoyed it for a long time, but it's dusty and it's dirty and now what do you do well you're gonna try and take a, a paintbrush like this one and starting at the center work out brushing it to try and get the stain off don't use obviously a dusting spray or anything like that because you don't want to get it re-wet. So you're going to try first of all just to take a brush and just brushing it. You can try taking it and going outside and shaking it like you would a rug. You can try that and you could try maybe uh, so if nothing if the, the little paintbrush doesn't work shaking it doesn't work then what you can do is you can take it and you can very very gently wash it going as fast as you can to get it in the water and get it out of the water and if you find your your glue doesn't survive that bath you're going to have to restitch it or re-block it and then you'll have to restarch it. But that's only as a last resort. Most of the times all I have to do is just take a paintbrush like what I'm using and just brush and brush and brush and it'll the dust will come off. But if it doesn't then you'll have to try the next severe step which is shaking it. And if that still doesn't work, then you're going to have to wash it. See, this doesn't take very long to do. All right. Welcome back. Our doily is dry, so let's go ahead and take these pins off and see what kind of a, an amazingly beautiful thing was created from just some knots in a string. I have a lot of respect for the people who create patterns like this. Uh, it's something I can't do. Um, I'm just now beginning to figure out how it's done. It takes a lot of counting and uh, it just takes a lot of work but I'm beginning to get it figured out and like I said I am I am in awe of the people who create patterns the end result is not something because of what my hands are doing the end result is because of the expertise and knowledge people have who create these these beautiful things for others to make and enjoy it um, I can't stress enough the respect I have for people who can create patterns that will do this like I said I don't feel it's got anything that a crocheter has to anything to do with what the skill a crocheter may or may not have because the end result is only going to be as beautiful as the pattern you had to follow. 
and this just amazes me. I think we chose a good color for it. And I think the, the glue mixture for stiffening it was correct. It doesn't appear to be too stiff. So let's go ahead and <laughs> that simply amazingly beautiful. Look at this thing. I'm going to cut this string tail here off where I, right here where I left off with my crocheting. And I believe there's another one on the bottom here that there isn't, there is some glue residue on here that I will clean up with the paintbrush and my tweezers. But um, that's something you don't need to sit in watch for but isn't that amazing and it is huge let me measure this this is finished it is 22 inches that way it is 22 inches across this way and this way I already know where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it on my coffee table down downstairs because it needs to be admired and not just folded up and threw in a drawer to never resurface and see the be seen again. Um, yeah, I got this pattern out of this this magazine magic crochet february 1987 i paid three dollars and 25 cents for it 1987 i am a firm really uh, supporter of the magic crochet magazine i can't find them anymore and i treasure the ones i have i made number 13 and this was made by an elizabeth heidelson and um, I ran out of crochet string, so I didn't actually get to finish her entire pattern. I ended up stopping at row number 31. This is what the pattern looks like. This is what her version looked like. A little bit different because I didn't, wasn't able to get this final row on. But... Um, Thing of beauty absolutely stunning so if you enjoyed seeing this uh, you would like to see me create more doilies this took about 20 hours total to crochet I worked on it a few hours every night while I was watching TV and um, so it didn't take long, but if, um, if you'd like to see me do, do more like this, let me know and we can probably do it again. If not, please think about subscribing to my channel, click the notification bell to get more videos notified when I put them up and you have a great afternoon and I'll see you again. Thank you for watching. Bye.